Well, hello, <laughs> B.H. Stringer here. I'm back with an overdue mail call. Overdoing a lot of content for my channel, which uh, I appreciate all the subscribers. I should have been at this more. Had some things to deal with. You know how life goes. But anyway, way behind a mail call. And I'll probably have a couple more after this one, even. And I hope to do a live stream, maybe even later today. But we're going to start here with a mix and <clears throat> I don't have the envelope for one of the uh, things here, but anyway, hunting Southwest Ohio. I won a giveaway there, and I got two silver coins, or maybe more, I don't know. Seems to have more in here than I thought. Now, oh, I see, yeah, he's dropped out of another package, I guess. That's what it is. Anyway, I got an un a peso which I believe is 10% Whoop. and a cheers one will have great eyesight a sixpence Well, I'm focusing on this a little bit here, I think. There we go. Nineteen forty one er. All right. Look at that. Oh. And that would be George the Six on the back there. I'm not sure how much uh, <coughs> silver is in that. I'd have to check. But it is also silver, right? That was part of the the package. The package, as they say. And then I got a bunch of stuff here from this guy. Right? Oh, there he focuses again. There's one of them. Coin around. Yeah, we all like turtles, I know. And if I remember correctly, I got two separate gauze here. One was this 1935 silver certificate and a merc dime and a war nickel and then another one was another war nickel and merc dime I'm not sure what the dates are on these I'll 
went to 44 Philly. No, 44 S, pardon me. Went to 42. Philly. I'm not going to look at the, the Mercs. The Mercs are what they are. <laughs> they're old and they're 90%. That's, you know, what else can you say? And then I got, well, through somebody else on another channel, but sent to me some stuff from Jack Gallman. I got uh, one of Jack's uh, channel stickers and a really nice old postcard. Huh? Native American. I don't know what it says on the back here. No. Osceola. Or something of that order. Uh, I'll put that. I'll put that focus up here a little bit. Maybe you want to read that? No. Anyway, really nice postcard. And that's it for that envelope. However, speaking of coin around, let me why I put this away. I have Two more. And I'm not sure whether these were from an EOS or a likes. Oh, this probably was an EOS, so. Oh, but well we have another silver certificate. And a oh, I don't know about this one now. It is a twenty eighteen one. Shilling. 2010, one shilling. I think it's just a foreign. I don't know if it's silver or not, but... Anyway, thank you very much, Quinn. So we'll have another one here. Here we have another silver certificate. And not sure what this is. Probably a rosy dime or a merc dime. I can tell you if I ever get it open. Holy jeez. <clears throat> well packaged. Maybe.
And we have Mm -hmm. no, it's oh, it's an indie head. A 1907 Indian head scent that been gnawed up by the bears, or that's a bad dye. You see in the back there? I'm going to assume that's post mint damage. Watch what I'm doing here. Anyway. Nice little addition. That's two silver certificates from Coining Around. Who was you? Probably all well know. He streams on Wednesday night. And Sunday night. And on Friday night, just as a hangout. But, uh,. Wednesday and Sundays, coin roll hunt, half dollars usually, and lots of, uh, lots of giveaways, as always, and lots of fun, well, most people think it is. Now we have my dear friend from. South of the border in Michigan. Sherbenzi. And this was a 40 for 40, 90% dime, 35% nickel. Nickel seen better days. Oh, that's one of the other package, isn't it? Oh, no. There's the uh, 40%. 1967 Kennedy. And Silver Merc Dime. And he sent me a little bonus here, which is the 2008P Reverse Extra Claw. I don't know if I'll be able to pick that out here or not, but I can hold it up a little closer and try to focus. I even see an extra claw. I don't know. I guess if I turn it up the other way. A little bit different than the camel toe bear on the uh, Canadian uh, tuning, the fake ones, but not quite the same. And yet another one from Sir Benji, I think. What is that in close in the last but yeah. Yeah. Some of the coins in the other package were from that. And here we go. <clears throat> Good buddy of my in Nova Scotia. Martin. Marty's nuts about digging. This is his channel. He happened to get uh, a couple of rolls of the uh, the new Canadian Looney, the Lucy Bod Montgomery. Ah. Let me zoom on this a little bit more now. See if we can see. Colorized, 
Vielleicht Luni. There it is. 2024, King Chuck on the back. King Chuck the third. And of course there's a non-colorized version as well. What you sent me. Thank you very much, Martin. You and Digger are good people. Especially Digger. You not so much, but you know. Digger's good dog. Well, I don't have to tell you. Who we got next here? Oh! A Walker, a Maganetta. There's a thanks. And it's a. Uh, hi, Jerry. Congrats on the God win. And it's 50 likes. And it is. I'm not sure what that says there. Oh. Well, we soon find out here, won't we? We got a couple of Merc Dimes. Oval Mountains, of course. Nice. Pay attention here. Get things in frame. Thank you, Walker Magnet. And uh, Walker usually streams on Saturday, but unfortunately, Al, has been having some health issues. He hasn't been on for a couple of weeks. Hope to see him back soon. Best wishes, Dally. And by the way, I'll put all the, the links to these channels in the description below before I do that, before I put it up. And this is from Stan otherwise known as Boston Treasure Hunter. And he had a sub giveaway. And I got two silver quarters. All right, look at that. Nice. Stands like I am, he's on and off. I don't know if he does any, uh, or Boston Treasure Hunter, uh, if he does any live streams. I haven't seen one yet, but, you know, he has had a couple of series though, where he did like a multi-role coin search and finds, and, which is another video I have to do pretty soon on finds. Thank you very much. Stan, Boston Treasure Hunter. And here's somebody I just really only recently started following. And uh, a lot of fun because he's doing nickels, and I, I'm in love with nickels. And it's T. Levette. And uh, it seems every time I join a new channel, I, uh, I end up winning. So, I'm not sure if there's another one on the way or not. Anyway, I've I won enough time. I got two, two from, and he always includes a few extras. And I'm not gonna bother to take these out here, but, you know, I won five rolls free to search, and, and these are the finds of those rolls, and uh, <laughs> he even sent me a Canadian here in this one. I won't go through them all. As you can see, I, I won twice there. And I don't know if those are war nickels or not. I, no. Anyway, there's a one package. And, excuse me if I'm fumbling here. I might have to soon put some music back on. 
take a little rest, a little break. You know, I'm not getting any younger. I'll get tired pretty quick, huh? And, it, and here's the next one from T. Levet. This is cool. This was an end of stream. And the asterisks he sent me were this little gold plated token. I'm not sure what it is I'd ask, but I think it's just something he picked up, eh? And I got an S mint. Oh, uh, it's a proof, actually, nickel. Which, even though I do find a lot of U.S. nickels here in my Canadian rolls because, you know, we have a lot of tourists. I don't find that many S's. And I think there's another another S in there, too. So really nice. Because I've, I've got a, a collection of U.S. nickels started now <laughs> because I have so many of them. I keep finding them. I average about now, depending on the time of year, but about uh, one U.S. nickel per roll. Sometimes a little more. Like I say, it depends on the time of year. But great. And this is from Pa's Spare Time. And of course, Pa hasn't been around much lately, but he still does Saturday streams. Him and Hudson. And Reddy Silver, and sometimes Sawyer, the other young fella, and uh, great channel. Always trying to promote the hobby, especially the young people, and I try to do the same. Everybody should, just, you know, it's a good hobby. Well, help keep the uh, kids out of trouble. And of course, there's his primary sticker he passes out now, and there's a an AppMex code. If you want to scan that, and Pa has, I think it's a uh, ten percent discount on your order. And goes with the Pa spare time card, which I'll put over here with the other ones. <laughs> Probably pass these out. Uh, I don't have any channel stickers. Done that before. What is this? Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Anyway, what we have here is a whole bunch of banknotes. Paul was doing a lot of banknote searches, eh? I'm not sure what this one is. Uh, it's crispy. 2017 A series. I'm not sure of the significance of the serial number on that one. Okay. And here we have an old silver certificate. I think it's a 35 probably. And another one that's been graded. And another one that's been graded. And if I remember correctly, I have... Oh, by the way, one of those was John Jacobs won it and then uh, gave it, to, gifted it to me. One of the silver, silver certificates. And that wraps it up for the night. Or for the stream, anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to be back soon. Not be so... Uh, long between streams and videos and as I say I have <coughs> one live stream planned for tomorrow night probably around 6 30 7 30 Eastern Standard Time I, I got quite a bank score the other day and I 
I still have probably three more mail calls to do and I want to do one on the fines that I've had pocket fines and roll fines so uh, keep an eye out thanks for watching thanks for your support thanks for subscribing please like this video pass it on to your friends and uh, have a good one we'll talk to you folks later